It's yes. about time. We got time. Because <laughs> that thing's nasty. Is right, that called beating the boss again? That's called beating the boss. See you guys. <laughs> Next up for me is frostbite. Whatever. <laughs> A map turtle. Put him back. Okay. Go put them in. Go put them in. It's winter in Chicago, which means we're not building ponds outside. So the guys are either chilling or chomping at the bit. I got a good idea. What's that? Follow me. All right. I hate his idea. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, no. That's yes. about time. We got time. Because <laughs> that thing's nasty. So the turtle pond that we have right now, we have a lot of challenges with it. It was put in because of a need. We had all these turtles coming in, people dropping turtles off, so we needed a place to put them. Poor circulation and filtration made for a really unsanitary situation. So we want to redo this whole thing, come up with something really fresh. This is going to look awesome. Maybe. We're going to need to have an edge so the turtles don't get out of there. But if they get out of here, they got a quarter million square feet. They're going to be gone for like ever. Kind of like that little picket fence that they did there. Barbed wire would look better. Problem's gonna be. <laughs> Tortuga Correctional Facility. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a little track where they can walk around the outside perimeter. And, you know. We're gonna get these turtles out of the tank that they've been living in for the last couple years and put them into a temporary holding tank. While the turtles sit in there, a few of us are gonna go get the rest of this sand while our other guys start tearing apart the old turtle house. It's gonna take them a while, which is okay, because it's gonna take us forever to take all this sand out of the old training area and bring it all the way back over here. What up? Can you bring your shovel? You want some help? You want some help? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, that's why I asked if you brought your shovel. <laughs> I got one better. Next thing you know, that big bay door behind me is opening and there's a huge six-wheeler full of sand out there. I know we're all happy. The only guy that I'm a little concerned about is Roberto. As usual, construction, they make the messes, I get stuck cleaning it up. 22 tons of sand. I got a semi, a semi, and no one says anything driving through my warehouse. Not a bad idea, huh? No, it's actually nice. Yeah. That's it's called perfect. being the boss. Yeah, this is only half. I thought it was 22 tons of sand. 22 tons, we needed 20, we needed 30 yards. It's about a ton of yard. Huh? No? What is it? Chris? 1.3 <laughs> tons per yard. Everybody kind of knows that. <laughs> it's called being an employee. Yeah. So now we got to get all of this to all of there. Yep. Is that called being the boss again? That's called oh. being the boss. See you guys. <laughs> hey, looking good. What's up? We have enough sand? I think so. We put a bunch of pallets and stuff under here and oh. covered them up with fabric, so that helps a lot. What time is it? Well, pretty late in the morning. Are you on time, Princess? Oh, you're not telling me. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who's historically <laughs> late is giving me stuff about oh. being on time. It's freezing outside. We got to go figure out how to get stone from outside into the warehouse. I got seniority. I ain't going out there, and I know Brian isn't going to do it, so... Hey, Chris, speaking of negative temperatures, uh-huh. you want to go uh, experience them firsthand? Unless you have a better idea. Oh, that sounds, that sounds genius, right? Like, <laughs> reading right out of Ed's notebook here. And, <laughs> Fine. So next step for some of us is digging. <laughs> next step for me is frostbite. Whatever. <laughs> so on a scale of 1 to 10 for my enthusiasm level right now, I'm at about a negative 10, which is about the temperature that it is. It's freaking cold. So I got to start moving the rocks in so Ed and Brian can start placing them. We can start building this stinking pond. Long live turtles, I guess. Yesterday, Chris brought in the pot poster and said, something's missing. I think he was referring to himself. Problem solved. I think I fixed the problem. <laughs> that actually looks pretty stable. That actually looks pretty good. You, you know got, that you means? got the smile. I'm done, baby. <laughs> <laughs> So the pond's almost done, but not quite. <laughs> We've got all this underwater slate work to do. Greg's got this vision of this underwater vista. So when we put this koi camera in, underneath the pond looks just as incredible as above the pond. While we're doing that, we're also working on the waterfall. Working with this waterfall becomes kind of difficult because we're working with these huge giant styrofoam blocks that we inherited from the Shedd Aquarium. So we've got some slate work underneath the pond, we've got a waterfall to finish, and it should be all done by the end of the day. Wait, wait, turn around. What? Yes, turn around. Oh, come on. I don't have a blindfold. Hey, don't peek. I can hear it. Yep. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Woo! That's the reaction nice. we were looking for. I taught cool. you well. Yeah. <laughs> hey. 
So I want a turtle rescue pond and you guys end up creating a piece of paradise back here. Man, I need a couch. It's a good idea that I had to keep those guys busy in the winter time. But the real test is gonna to come tomorrow when we introduce it for the first time to a bunch of kids. Now we have to put the turtles into their new home. You guys want to help us do that? Yeah! All right, let's do that. I think I got him. I got something. You caught him. A map turtle. Look at that. A, a map turtle. Put him back. Okay, go put them in. Go put them in. Put them in nice and easy. All right. Mine's going oh, <laughs> Yay. How about a hand, a big hand? Yeah. Yay! I was blown away by what Ed and Brian and Chris came together with back here. I was not expecting it to be this high and this dramatic and this cool, but what was even cooler was being able to show the kids because I love that their reaction was equal if not bigger than mine. And I know one thing, if I can get them interested in this, if I can get them tuning into our uh, website to be able to see what's going on at the Turtle Cam, then anybody will.